All right, so what I'm gonna show you how to do now is how to send like an individual one-time email to your email subscribers, which is like called a newsletter. So let's say you have a blog and you have a new blog post and you wanna share that with your audience or you have a course launch or a new YouTube video and you just wanna let your people know about that thing, then we're not gonna use an automation here, we're gonna use the campaign tool within ActiveCampaign. So we're gonna go to the left side and click on campaigns and then we're gonna create a new campaign. So click create a campaign. We're gonna give that campaign a name. So let's say I have a new blog post and I wanna share that. So I'm just gonna name it blog post, post, blog post July. And depending on how complex that campaign will be, you wanna choose one of those um, options here. So um, I'm just gonna use the standard one because it's just a one-time email that I wanna send either right now or in a couple of days. You can also do like an automated sequence, which is a little bit more complex, but for now we're gonna stick um, by the standard one-time campaign. Then we're gonna click on next. Choose the list that you wanna send that campaign to. Click next. And then again, we see some different templates that we could use, but again, I'm gonna start from scratch and again, choose the newsletter option as a template. Here as a subject, um, let's say what I've been up to recently. Obviously you wanna make a little bit more uh, a, t a title that makes people a little bit more curious than this, but um, just, as an example, I'm gonna use this one here, click continue. And then again, we see the same template that we've seen before in our automation tool. And um, what we can do now is we can actually use those safe blocks that we have created before in our welcome email. So if you go to saved on the right side here, you have those safe blocks. So let's say um, I wanna have the same format of text, I'm gonna choose drag the text example in here. And I also wanna have a picture of myself at the bottom, I'm gonna drag that in here. And also my social links at the bottom, also drag that in here, check if everything's okay, looks fine, click save. And then I'm gonna delete everything that I don't need. So delete this here. And I'm gonna delete the picture. And also that at the bottom. Again, that at the bottom, um, that unsubscribe link, you can change that one that has to be there and it will there will also be your uh, address there. And also I wanna align it to the left side. I always do it like that. And um, obviously you wanna change the text here to whatever is relevant to your, uh, your email there. So let's say I have a new blog post, just as an example. And uh, then obviously send them the link to the blog post. So again, link highlighted, click on link and then insert your blog post link in here. And then this will become a hyperlink where people can click on and get to your blog post. All right. Then let's say we're finished. So we're gonna click on next. Here, it's the same thing again, like in the automation tool, you have the subject that you can revisit once again, the pre header text, if you wanna change that, the email from and to, the list that you're sending this to, your address, and again, the tracking options, then the schedule, so you could either um, send the email right away, or, or you can um, schedule it. So if you wanna schedule it, let's say I wanna send that tomorrow, um, tomorrow at 10, 10 a.m. Just gonna change that at 10 and then I have to select this one to on and then it will be sent at 10 a.m. the next day. Uh, I can again send a test email which is some also always something I recommend and also do a preview here and spam check past which is always good and then I'm basically ready click finish and now my campaign has been scheduled and tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, this email will go out to everybody that is on my email list.